Welcome back to Eminem Classic Tractor for another quick fix video. Uh, we're back in the classroom again. We're going to do quite a few of these because this is stuff that's best shown up here on the board and described to you. Uh, but what we're going to talk about today is the difference in wiring up your ignition system, primarily these round coils like this, whether you have a 12 volt or a 6 volt ignition. Uh, so if you've converted from a 6 volt ignition over to a 12 volt, you're going to look at what's on top. Uh, if you already have 12 volt, obviously there, 6 volt, same thing, obviously what's there. Um, front mount distributors on Fords that have the single wire going to the coil, this is not going to make much difference unless you converted it to 12 volt, you're going to switch to polarity on the wire. I'll try to make a note of that here at the end of this video. So what we're going to start with uh, is pretty self-explanatory up here. Here's our ignition switch, just a little thingy right here. Here's our 12 volt system, our 6 volt system, our coils for our uh, the respective voltage are distributors for the respective voltage. Uh, all your side mount distributors, I don't care what tractor you got, they're going to have one wire coming out of the side of them. That's where they get their power to, and then they divert the zap inside to go out to whichever spark plug that it needs to go to. So we're going to start out with 12 volt negative ground systems, almost 99.99 .99 infinity systems that are 12 volt are going to be negative ground. The little minus sign, that's your ground, your chassis ground. So what you're going to do, whether you took this off, you're replacing it, or you rebuilt the motor, or you bought a tractor that didn't have an ignition coil on it, and you just don't know which way to plug it in. If you look at the ignition coil here, your new ignition coil, even your old ignition coil, is going to be molded into the cap. You can see that's the little plus sign there, the minus sign there. That's your polarity. It, it'll be marked on there somehow or another. So if you're running 12 volt, the wire that feeds to the ignition coil needs to go to the positive side of the coil. The output comes from the negative side of the coil to the wire on the distributor. That's how your 12 volt negative ground system works. Your six volt is the exact opposite. A six volt uses a positive ground. The negative side is actually your hot side. So think back when they used to teach quality stuff in science class back in the you know schooling days. I don't know if they still do or not. They don't teach much of crap except how yeah, they can't even figure out what kind of plumbing you got. Um, think about an atom. Protons, neutrons, electrons. Electrons, think about the symbols on them. Protons had the positive symbols. Uh, electrons had the negative symbols. Electrons are the business end. They've got the juice to it. So 6 volt is technically correct when it comes to how it works. No matter what, we're completing a circuit, so it doesn't matter how we wire it up, it's going to complete a circuit. However, for it to work properly, a 6 volt is a positive ground. Your positive on your battery goes to the chassis of the tractor, the motor, whatever you're working on. If it's 6 volt, the positive goes to the ground. Your negative is the business end. So from our switch or from our battery, we're going to come from the negative side, negative power, and plug into the negative side of the coil. The output side is positive. That positive output feeds the distributor. And again, remember, if you're converting from 6 volt, you're going to reverse all this. Now, there's a little more involved when you're converting a tractor from 6 volt to 12 volt. You really got to do the charging system. You have to get a new regulator and all that stuff because it's going to be working the wrong polarity to properly do its job. But for right now, we're just talking about the ignition system. We're not worried about any of those other things. Now, on the Ford front mount distributors, it's kind of the same thing, except we don't have, the coil is not in the middle of the circuit. The coil is at the end of the circuit because it's mounted on the distributor. So, uh, in this case, I'm going to do it in, uh, I'm going to use this little red marker right here. <coughs> Originally, in 6 volt, it comes direct from the switch, which is negative power. The negative power goes right to the top of that uh, coil on the distributor. If you're converting it to 12 volt, you got to remember that every, all your polarity is going to be changed back here. So it's going to go from the positive to the distributor. It's pretty self-explanatory when you get in there. 
But uh, just as a side note, I see a lot of this when people have converted these or they replaced the coil and they put them on backwards, and especially these little coils right here that wire them up backwards. They work. They fire. But they don't build the right amount of amperage, and they, the lifespan is greatly shortened if you do not plug these in correctly. Um, it's not going to kill you. It's not going to blow up in your face if you hook it up backwards or anything like that. Now, if you hook across them, it can go off like a capacitor. It's not going to instantly do it. I didn't say that, so uh, <laughs> nobody go to classroom and do that, okay? Polarity, coil, ignition, tractor goes boom, gets to work. Thanks for watching.